Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris and you can call me Chris and this is now an ASMR channel. You like that? You like that? Also, I don't know if anybody's ever told you, but you have beautifully shaped nostrils. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You know what, I'm not gonna be an ASMR channel, but I could be, but I'm not going to. It creeps me out. I also look like a floating head right now, just realized that, but I guess we're gonna be a floating head for this video. We're gonna watch videos that only the whammon will understand. Boys, if you're watching, I challenge you to understand. Let me know in the comments below. If you do, let's get to the video. <sighs> Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. What does it say? Gather around because now is Chris Reed Screams. I mean, telling my friends to take dis to, to take disrespect from no man. T -t -t Today, Junior! After I took disrespect from a man for years. Why do we do this? I'll be like, he called you a bitch. He could uh, leave. I know it's been five years, but you you leave. You leave. Yeah, you don't look back. You don't look back. I know my boyfriend. He locked me out of the house because I made his pancakes wrong. D don't worry about that. But focus on you. That didn't actually happen. Okay, his roles reversed. Get him out of there. Make my pancakes right, bitch. When I'm about to tell a guy that I'm a, a virgin, nice, and don't plan on having the sexuals till marriage, but I don't want to get ghosted. Listen to me, mamacita. Listen to me very closely. If you don't respect yourself enough to communicate your values to your partner, you cannot accept your partner to respect your values if they don't know what they are. Henceforth, I don't know what English is, you need to communicate your values to your partner. And if he doesn't like that, if she doesn't like that, Bitch, bye. There's 8 billion people in the world. What are you doing? Okay, you can find one of these assholes that isn't an asshole, okay? I know that's contradicting, but okay, listen to your anti Chris. Did any of that make sense? I don't know. There's a quote in there somewhere. I don't know what it is, but here it is. Wait, I got, okay. You guys are writing goddamn paragraphs. One second. Staring at my friend in disbelief and pain after they raised their voice at me because I kept grabbing their ass, hitting them when I laugh, fake fighting them all day, and saying yo mama to anything, everything they said. Yeah, you know, how dare you? Okay, that's what friendships are for. For making fun of each other, for bringing each other down, for hyping each other up, for a punching bag, shoulder to cry on. If you're friends with me, you sign up for f***ing crazy, okay? You gotta be okay with that, okay? You flinched? Yeah, it's, that's what it's like to be my friend, okay? Always on your toes. Always on your toes. <laughs> no, 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 When there's no, no. a debate in class and you're too shy. When there's a debate in class. I've got this. I can read. You can do this. When there is a debate in class and you're too shy, but you're also very argumentative. Oh my God, if that isn't the, the me in a sentence. Two sentences? One sentence. That is me. It'll be like, this will be in class, okay? Okay, students, uh, what is your opinion on this on this issue? And then it'd be like Kyle in the back of the class like, Oh, uh, Miss Thiessen, I think women shouldn't get equal pay uh, because they're too busy like menstruating and reading like women's magazines and like they have boobs, which means they could probably have back problems, which means they'll probably take a lot of time off work. Work a man could be doing. So that is my argument for, for that case. Thank you. And I'll just be in the back. He's like right beside me in the corner and I'll just be like, I can't. Oh, it's so frustrating in my brain. I'd have like the perfect thing to say, but I can't say it. But then I do raise my hand and I say it and I, then they're like, uh, yeah, uh, you, uh, Chris, yeah, you. And I'll be like, he's a f idiot. <laughs> and then I get sent to the principal's office. It's great. Do you really think, do you really think to I eat it, up. but you tell him it's a little hairy. We love when a man doesn't care. Men in the comments. Oh, I really actually don't really want to know if you eat it when it's, oh my God, this is a family friendly channel. This is a family friendly channel. Kids, we're talking about pie, apple pie. Get it? If you don't, that's fine. Let's keep moving. When your period starts the day before your vacation. <gasps> no! Oh, that is the worst when it starts the day before. That's like God or whoever you believe in looking looking at you down or up at you. I don't know what you believe in. That's your whatever. And just being like, you know what? No, you're not gonna enjoy this vacation. Here's a little life lesson. There, Chris, there you go. All right. Oh, it's gonna be heavy too. Heavy load, bring those super tampons. You know what, better yet, just bring a diaper. Yeah, you know, you're not wearing a bathing suit for this unless it's like a full moo moo. This is my impression of God. <laughs> Catch you later, God. I kind of fit the fit the mold, though. I look like I'm in the sky, you know. Jokes, jokes. Okay, don't be offended. Take it down. 
my brain as soon as I down. post anything Take on my story down. because it goes against my mysterious girl Take vibe. That doesn't represent me or oh. what we need to be doing. Take it down. I get that. You want to be like mysterious and like not let people know what you're doing. So people are like wondering what you're doing. And then once you post something, what you're doing, then you're like, oh no, I can't let them know that I'm having like a chai tea latte at Starbucks right now because like that's it's too basic. I don't know where I'm going with this, but this the voice needs to stop because I hate it a lot. Actually, I'm gonna do the video with this voice for the rest of the video. I'm just kidding, please don't log off. <laughs> so for most people, the taste of semen is mild and inoffensive. People have described the taste uh. to be slightly bitter, slightly salty, uh. or metallic. Semen flavor also varies from person to person and can also be heavily dependent on what you eat. Okay, I got it, I got it. This is a family friendly channel. This is a family friendly channel. I wouldn't know what Saman tastes like. I'm so sorry if you're watching this with your children or if you're a child. Go get your parents. Actually, don't go get your parents. No, please just log off. Skip this video. Thanks. She got hit by a big you ass. You work from home and your friend what? who still works on site calls She's to update you on the office drama. A week. And you're not gonna believe this. What? Girl, girl, come on, come on with it. What? Oh my gosh. She died. Oh. <laughs> oh, so the people that work at home. I know like I love working from home now. Like there was a time where I didn't work from home because I'm a very introverted person, like working from like with myself, that kind of thing. But you do miss the camaraderie of people, you know? Like I want to like see somebody, but I'll just like walk outside and like see somebody and be like, that's enough. And I just crawl back into my hole. You are dead to me. When someone uses something I told life. them in King confidence King against me to win an argument. King word wait what okay you're dead to me okay sorry I, I my brain just i can't i can't fucking process this shit this fast god damn it TikTok. okay when someone uses something i told them in confidence against me to win an argument oh i see i see like me saying like oh yeah i'm on antidepressants because i'm depressed and that makes me like depressed and then they're like in the argument like why are you so depressed how dare you <laughs> That was a terrible example. I'll be better. I promise. It's a new look of fucking Me con. to the girls I, I meet in the toilet on holiday. In the ocean. Fucking watch me. <laughs> I love that. There's something about going into a women's bathroom when you're drunk at the bar or on like vacation and then you just become best friends. You're like, I know you're back, girl. I know I just met you and I know you just took a dump in the toilet over there. But also, yeah, I, it's the roll. What did you eat, by the way? It was really smell. Anyway, I got you. If anybody comes up to you in the bar there and annoys you, you should let me know because I give them the What's your name again? Clitoral atrophy occurs when the clitoris stops responding to sexual arousal and no longer functions as it should. Sometimes the clitoris can even disappear. Atrophy can occur from a lack of sexual use because the clitoris relies on blood flowing to it to stay alive. The clitoris has to be found. Wait, are you telling me if I don't use my hoo-ha, it's gonna disappear like Casper the ghost? I didn't go where I was supposed to go. What? It's just gonna, it's just gonna Thanos out of here? That's it, I can't be abstinent anymore. There's a few things I could say about the clitoris, clitoris. like you to hear. I guess I could, I just, just hang out with myself, if you know what I mean. Don't know what accent this is either. I went from like Australian to New Zealand. But moral of the story is, uh, yeah, uh, stay abstinent. But like, just make sure it still works down there from time to time, otherwise it'll disappear. <laughs> New okay, mantra. Here it goes. Feel free to use it yourself. Okay. I am no longer available uh -huh. to things and people that oh. make me feel like shit. Queen, to that. You make me feel like shit? You're in the toilet, okay? That's where shit belongs, okay? Or in the trash, or in the sink, wherever you wanna go. Don't go in the sink. Oh, I just feel like we should sat this if off me now. and my washing basket Why? went on Love Island. I just, don't, I just, I don't think it's, it's, it's gonna work for you. It's definitely, definitely not working for me. Why? Because it's just not. Is that like, in terms of like, whether you're gonna like, put away the laundry or not? I don't fully understand that. Maybe I'm not a girl. Maybe I am just, I just am. Sitting on the patio of a coffee shop, even though there's an 80% chance of storms because it's lunchtime and I hate the amount of people inside. Yes, I think the girls and the boys will understand that one if you're an introvert like myself. People, disgusting, disgusting, except for you, I like you. Even see. He opens his this phone new in thing front of like, you. I do not look at my phone. And he open. wait, he opens his phone phone in front of you. Is she trying not to look? It's kind of hard not to though. It's like an instinct, like a girl instinct. I feel like guys do it too. It's just like, I'll be beside and it should be like this. And you're just like, 
Not because like I want to catch him doing anything. It's just because like I want to catch him doing something. You know. <laughs> I'm toxic, sorry. My birth control must be really great. I've never had a pregnancy scare in six years. Okay. Infertility. Oh, haha. <sighs> I'm terrified of that. I'll just adopt kids. It's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have kids. I don't know if I'm equipped to, to be a parent, you know? I feel like I'm five years old. Any parents out there? Can you comment down below? Did you feel ready? Were you like, yeah, I can I can tell a little thing what to do and to teach you how to walk and talk and shit? Or did it just like, you know, it just kind of happens and you figure it out? Because I don't think I'll ever get there, you know? I can't even read half the time. I don't know how I can teach a kid to read. It'd be like me being like, okay. Okay, hey, Timmy. His name's Timmy. This is the book. Uh, Once Upon a Time. Back in the past. Uh, uh, sorry, Timmy. One second. Okay, let's try it again. Once Upon a Time. In the tree to bat. Uh, and then Timmy's like, I'm gonna be a great mom. <laughs> I trailed off so hard there. Ladies, let's confuse the guys. Okay. Oh, what's this? Let's confuse the guys. Oh. Oh yes, I understand. I understand greatly. The shit that we need to go through as women is ridiculous. That's all I'll say about that. The shit that comes out of our bodies is just, uh, it's, yeah, you couldn't write it, you know? There's so many different things. Sorry, Jay. When you grow, grown hood picks you underage self up at 3 a.m. <laughs> Nothing, okay? I had a man. He was a boy. He was a child, basically. Not a child. That's, that's it. Okay. When I was, let's rewind. When I was 17, there was a guy I was, you know, hanging out with because I thought I was cool. And he had the loudest goddamn Mustang in the world. So when I snuck out at 3 a.m., also don't recommend, don't do what your Auntie Chris does. When I snuck out at 3 a.m., he would pull up and he'd be like, and I'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna go back to bed now and my parents are gonna club me because you, you, you can't have a normal f car. I was just about to say his name, not gonna say his name, not gonna expose. I also was uh, British as a child. <laughs> Get yourself a girl that prepares hey. food. Ooh, a cooker, yeah. Where are the Skittles? How did they get footage of me? Listen, actually, I can cook like low key, high key, high key, low key. I can make a mean mac and cheese with hot dog chopped up in it. Hot dog, mac and cheese with a little salt and pepper. Oh shit, you will never go to any other meal. But that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Can't do anything else. So if you're cool with having hot dog, mac and cheese for dinner, lunch, and breakfast, I'm a girl. That's gonna be my new Tinder profile. I've never had a Tinder profile. I don't know why I said Tinder. I probably will never do that. Should I do a video on that? Wait, if this video gets to 50, thousand likes i will make a fake tinder profile maybe as a man and try to pick up women love that make it happen please do that okay everybody i hope you enjoyed that video i know i did uh there's some some pertinent information in there for men and women alike if you enjoyed the video please like the video it uh, really helps out the channel also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed this is obviously bestest youtube channel ever and uh don't forget to get this video to 50 thousand likes because i'm gonna make a fake tinder profile as a man and hit on women who doesn't want to see that i feel like I could do a good job or a terrible job and my ego will be ripped to shreds. But that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you beautiful faces in the next video. Bye.